I got to a point in my life where I realized there have been so many checkpoints just adding up and I have never had the best memory. And so I wanted to take a moment, you know, and reflect and sit and really unpack and understand what I had been through. And so I've always, in that moment, I decided that I wanted to create a book. I didn't really know what that would look like. I didn't know how long it would be, but it ended up being continuum because Penguin Publishing approached me and they were like, hey, we have this specific collection for people who can be seen as activists. And a lot of my friends, my close friends were involved, such as Alok, Kimberly, Adam, Eli, and their books were incredible. And I really loved how accessibly they were presented because, you know, the target audience is pretty young, 14 and up. So you are not only like encouraged to reflect on your life, but you are encouraged to take really complex things that has that have happened to you and make them accessible for kids to understand. So basically, how do you explain systemic oppression to a child? And I thought that was very interesting and a very, it encouraged me to look back on the things that I initially had thought were complex and simplify them and realize they're not actually so complex after all, the world just makes us believe that they are complicated. I would love to appear at schools and read the book to kids because I just want to know how what they think about it. Kids are so brilliant because they are untouched by like so much harmful socialization that we essentially like internalize as we get older and they're free from it. And I would love to see how they react to the book. Yes, um, I have actually in this past year been the most privileged to mentor an 11 year old kid who is deaf basically does not yet who is deaf genderqueer jewish and chinese wow. and they're 11 years old they're yeah it's been a while i never thought that i'd meet someone like that but I've been able to FaceTime them and mentor them for the past year. So I have met a baby um, cello man, I guess. They're very, you know, they're different in their own way though. Yeah, it is amazing. It's been incredibly cool. That was a dream come true because since I was a kid, I imagined that vision of, you know, how can I just let other people know how fucking beautiful it is to be deaf? Because I was surrounded by people who were not disabled and didn't understand the beauty within being deaf. And I wanted to amplify that. And, you know, what's more beautiful than being able to communicate underwater? And I always imagined that someday I'm going to do that. Someday I'm going to cast people who are. I connect with and who agree with me on this and understand in a way where I don't even need to explain to them because they just get it. And I, it happened and it's moments like that that just remind me like those are the best moments because it just feels so healing and fulfilling through and through. I think in media, there is always ableism, there's always racism, there is always anti-trans politics, all of the above, but I do believe it's just getting more exposure recently. I'm not shocked, unfortunately. This has all been happening for a long time, but I think there are definitely surges. Um, it's been heavy, you know? I've been checking in with a lot of my family and friends and practicing self-preservation, really focusing on the people around me and what I can do within my own circle because that's all you can do, harm reduction. Mm -hmm.